Okay, let's be honest. I know you either clicked on this video because you're trying to decide whether you want to get into quilts or backpacking, or you're one of the ones that has decided that you don't want to use a quilt backpacking and you want to hear what I got to say about it. So in today's video, guys, we are talking about whether quilts for backpacking are overrated and basically going how it started, where we're at and where we're going and what's available out there. And at the end, I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it and what I'm gonna do in the future. So quilts were something that come around a long time ago. I'm not gonna get exactly into dates, but uh, they're one of the ways that benefit to cut weight on your pack, especially when ultralight becomes such the craze and uh, really reduce the space it takes in your pack, cut the weight. Honestly, like I will talk about later in this video, is a way to not be like claustrophobic in a sleeping bag. So that's kind of how they develop. There's a lot of companies that make them now. One of my favorites is Enlighten Equipment. Um, I love their quilts. And then another company like Hammock Gear, they make some awesome quilts for a really affordable price. And I've had really good luck with theirs. So there's multiple other companies but quilts for backpacking have become something very popular and uh, it's just very convenient. So what I've been hearing a lot recently is that a lot of people are switching back from quilts back to sleeping bags. I said that kind of weird. They're switching back to sleeping bags from quilts. Uh, so a lot of them have said that drafts have been a huge issue for them and I totally understand that. Definitely when you're turning in a quilt, there's a uh, trick to it and uh, basically a way I've learned to uh, make sure that the quilt doesn't shift with me so I don't expose myself to a draft, especially in a deep winter. But I've heard a lot of people say that uh, sleeping bags are just more convenient because you kind of sift down in it. You don't have to worry about getting into cold spots or drafts and uh, it's just been easier. And then I've also heard the people say that the weight, the weight savings by using a sleeping bag, uh, or I'm sorry, by using a quilt is uh, just not worth the sacrifice of having the bottom of it missing. Now, I understand both of those points and I get it completely. I, I kind of see where a lot of people are siding and why they're shifting back to sleeping bags. But I know for people that are new in the backpacking or coming into the industry and watching on YouTube, that it causes a little bit of confusion. So I kind of understand where you're coming from and I'll explain to you why I'm gonna stay with quilts. And for the ones that are switching to sleeping bags, I totally understand. I get where you're coming from. And honestly, I understand they're not for everybody. So truly, you still have to make the decision for you, but I'll tell you why I'm sticking with quilts. Honestly, quilts have worked well for me. I am a very hot sleeper. I've had multiple times where I've been below freezing under my quilt and I'm still overheating because my body just turns into a, a, an oven when I'm sleeping. Now, be truthful, honestly, a lot of times when I'm winter backpacking, I eat a lot before I go, a bit, go to bed. That is one trick I have used to make sure I stay warm at night. But anyways, that's just a side note. But I will stick to quilts because I feel like I'm able to learn to move with the quilt to make sure I don't catch a draft. And one of the other major things is, is I despise dealing with a sleeping bag zipper. Now I know there's a lot of quality sleeping bags that have really good zippers, but one of those things that's frustrating when I need to get out of my sleeping bag in the middle of the night and I don't want to have to deal with that, it's quickly easy to loosen the cinch on my quilt, easily throw it off my head and jump out of it really quickly if I need to or if a bear's attacking me. Uh, anyways, I sleep hot, so in the deep winter it's not a big deal to still be in a quilt and worry about drafts for me. I have learned how to shift with my quilt to make sure that I don't pull it up on one side. That is a trick. It's definitely a learning curve to it. And at the same time, I just get claustrophobic almost in sleeping bags. I'm not naturally claustrophobic, but I feel like I'm just trapped in a sleeping bag. And that's for me. And all this to say is you have to kind of decide what works the best for you. You might like a sleeping bag better, so you have to keep that in mind as an option. As some other YouTubers have heard talk about recently how they've switched back to sleeping bags. And even some well-known YouTubers and uh, backpackers have been around a long time. I've heard about that so i'm trying to help you not cause some confusion but you just have to really truly find what works for you i'm not going to tell you you have to use a quilt because that's what the best backpackers use because honestly there is a lot of really great backpackers that use sleeping bags so if you're still on the wall trying to decide you just have to really decide how you sleep what you'd prefer to sleep with and honestly just the best option for you and i hope that this might lighten some confusion and just kind of explain where i'm at and maybe it might help you decide where you'll be at and honestly you might have to try both to decide what's going to be that best option or if you got a friend they'll let you borrow one just to see how you like it so when you're going to buy one make sure you think it over what works best for you how you deal with an outdoor temperatures and try to decide 
Um, there is multiple options and you just have to choose what works best for you. There's a lot of other content online talking about quilts and sleeping bags when you're backpacking. But I just want to do this video because I've heard a lot more people saying they're switching back to sleeping bags. And uh, I thought it was a good topic of discussion. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. If you're new here, we'd appreciate your support by hitting the subscribe. And uh, we do content almost every Thursday. And we would love to have you here and we will see you soon. Thank you.